Here we go. I'm running a video. I'll let you guys see some of the character customization. I don't know about you guys, but I always try to make these people look kind of like me. <laughs> yeah, I don't usually. <laughs> yeah. Not even remotely close. Damn, you can even change, like, how your dude runs. That's pretty fucking legit. Practice for a little while on these tin cans. You can leave once your training is complete. And don't worry one bit, it's working. In a tricky situation, you have the Argus system to offer you advice. And of course, I invented it. Almost forgot, you can change your appearance at any time. Just talk to Quinta, our stylist. Well, that's about it. If you need me, you always know where to find me. Oh, and right, Harita said she'll be waiting for you in the Divine Observatory. We creatures like to stick together. Your 
best bet is to use area of effect skills against them. Tougher enemies usually keep away from the others. I suggest using your most powerful skills against them. Too bad. Bear in mind that in the training hall, you can select absolutely any class for training. That almost sounded like Portal. It, it totally sounded like Portal. That's exactly the first thing I thought of as soon as it happened. Like, uh, okay. Imagine the little robot. No, that was 100% Portal. I'm trying to figure out how to pick this other, uh, other class though, they say I can I'm pressing two. Oh no. I mean damn there's only so many fucking buttons on this damn game. I just mute my microphone. Hi. Can you hear me? I like me. It's these damn fat fingers, man. I fucking press too many damn buttons. to fight and I don't know where to go to get more.
cool. It's got like a nice mix of sci-fi and fantasy. It's kind of like World of Warcraft characters in a Star Wars environment. At least that's the, the look I get, you know, from the first, I don't know, 10 minutes of the game. Not incredibly, I mean, it's kind of nice to have a game that doesn't just hold your hand and say, okay, go here, click this button, go here, click this button. But at the same time, it's like, oh, it just dumped me off in this uh, huge room where there seems to be 20 or 30 people standing around some big crazy globe that looks like, uh, looks like the entire galaxy or universe or something. And they're all standing around looking at what looks like maps. And these are like players. These are characters, not NPCs. And I don't even know how to do what they're doing. I don't know how to, like, choose where to go. I need to recruit at least two players in the next seven days. Excellent choice. Each combat school is more than just a set of skills. It is a special path, a philosophy. It is time for you to learn about the mission of Aelion's gods. Come closer to the model of the planet. Listen. Do you hear that? Millions of voices are calling to us for help, begging us to save them. Here, in the observatory, their prayers reach our ears. We are gods, but not almighty. But it is in our power to save lives, eliminate threats, and offer hope. Go. Aelion is waiting for you. One thing I'll give it, it's not just a huge sprawling MMO where you can just run out in the world and get lost in. It looks like 
uh, you basically start in this one room and then you go click on a map and it sends you to the place you need to go fight and do your quest and then you go back. So that's kind of cool, I guess. Oh, finally, huh? I thought I'd have to spend the night here. It looks like birds have been here for a while. They're all over the place like flies on a dunghill. No doubt the attacks on... You, you can use the map to view your current position. Check the map whenever needed. I'll be right back. <laughs> 